Hey everybody, welcome back to Vegas Tips and Tricks Weekly. Uh, we do this, uh, well, weekly, because that's kind of in the title. And we do it mostly to try to provide some good information for people visiting Las Vegas for the first time or the first time in some time. And it would be naive to think that many of the people that go to Las Vegas, one of the reasons that they travel there is because of the easy availability of alcohol. Drinking is a big thing in Las Vegas, probably second only to maybe gambling or mm, never mind, we won't go there. So today I thought I would talk about the easiest and the least expensive ways to drink in Las Vegas. But we're going to start out with the most expensive ways to drink in Las Vegas. If you've enjoyed the things we've done on this channel, and hopefully you will, you will hopefully click that like button, hopefully hit that subscribe button. And if some of the things that we've shared here are valuable to you, perhaps they'll be valuable to your friends and neighbors as well. So consider sharing the channel with some of them. You know, Probably the cheapest drink you can get in Las Vegas is absolutely free, but I'm also going to call that the most expensive drink you can get in Las Vegas, and that's the comp drink. If you're not familiar with how things work in a Las Vegas casino, if you're gambling at one of the slot machines or any of the table games, or if you're sitting at one of the casino bars and you're playing some video poker or kino or whatever, you're going to be offered a beverage. And it is expected in most cases that that's going to be free of charge. Now, if you want the waitress to come back, if you want the bartender to pay any attention to, you'll give them at least a dollar or two dollars for that drink. But in theory, it is absolutely free. It's complimentary. Because, for obvious reasons, the casino would like you to continue to drink because that makes you eh, probably a little bit more likely to continue to gamble. And for that reason alone, I'm going to call this as potentially at least the most expensive drink you can get in Las Vegas. Um, you know, the traditional rule is you kind of like sidle up to a casino bar uh, that has some video poker. You, uh, you know, catch the bartender's eye. You put like a 20 in the machine, you play a little jacks of better or a bonus poker or whatever. You wait for them to come over, ask, to, ask if you like a drink and um, you know, it's free. You tip them a dollar or two. Um, but I don't know how many times that this has ended up being a $21 drink and unfortunately a $41 drink. And to be honest, Occasionally, it's been a one hundred and one dollar drink. You know, I put uh, put a twenty or a four, two twenties or a hundred in the machine. I've started playing video poker. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to win. I'm sitting there. I get my Budweiser or whatever. I tip the guy a buck or two, and before I know it, my Budweiser's gone. My twenty, my forty, or even my hundred dollar bill has been officially erased. So even though if you're winning, those comp drinks in Las Vegas, yeah, they're awesome. They're the best way to go. They're the cheapest way to go. If you're losing, they can be the most expensive ways to go. So don't be one of those people who spends $102 for a Budweiser or a Miller Lite. The other thing that a lot of people do in Las Vegas, for obvious reasons, is check out some of the nightclubs, some of the best DJs. Well, I really don't know them personally, but I hear they're some of the best DJs are in Las Vegas or are on some occasions in Las Vegas. Um, and some of the biggest, most bombastic nightclubs anywhere are in Las Vegas, you know. We've all heard of rehab out at the old Hard Rock, which isn't there anymore. Uh, but, uh, you know, MGM Grand and Aria and Cosmo and Caesars Palace, Venetian, uh, all of those places have had some of the most amazing night clubs anywhere. Whether it be a hip hop themed club or an EDM club or whatever, they are among the most successful. And some of the most upscale clubs you'll find anywhere in the world. And so that means even if somehow you manage to worm your way into one of these nightclubs for free, the drinks are gonna cost you. Now, if you're young and beautiful, which I am clearly not, you might be able to drink for free. 
but if you're kind of a homely dude like me, uh, you get inside one of these nightclubs and the drinks start in the $20, $25, $30 range. And you're not going to get away from that if you buy a bottle because you'll spend $800 or $1,000 on the cheapest bottle of vodka or whiskey. So, yeah, um, you know, if you're going to go to one of these nightclubs, and it's definitely something to see. Uh, maybe you want to pre-drink a little bit back in your room. Um, even if you don't go to one of the Las Vegas nightclubs with their extremely overpriced drinks, you can spend a lot of money, $20, $25 plus as well, if you go to one of the uh, major sort of craft bars that you can find. You know, some of them are in uh, Las Vegas casinos. You can find some of them on Fremont Street. It's the kind of places where they make creative craft clock cocktails, and some of them are great. No doubt about it. But you're going to pay for it. You, know, you might only pay 16 18 20 bucks for a really good cocktail, but it can very easily be 20 25 30 depending upon the uh, alcohol that you choose. So, um, you know, if you're a person that does really enjoy uh, craft cocktails and some creative uh, takes on that, then these can be a great place to visit. But you're not going to get these comped, and they are going to cost you at least in the range of $20 and maybe substantially more depending on the alcohol you call and where you go. That being said, uh, any casino bar is going to be, well, frankly, kind of a ripoff. Um, if you're not getting your drink comped, you might pay anywhere from $10 to $15 for a freaking Bud Light. For that price, you might as well stay in your room and raid the mini bar, which in many cases may actually be cheaper. <laughs> you know, you can stay in your room and have a $12 Bud Light, or you can go down to the casino bar and have a $12 Bud Light. Well, if you're tired, you might as well just raid the mini bar. That's what I always say. But uh, yeah, obviously you have a much larger selection of drinks there. And if you don't mind paying what is practically the freight cost anywhere you're going to get a drink, anywhere despite uh, whether it's in Las Vegas or otherwise, then it may not be a bad choice. But um, and you know, keep an eye on specials, particularly if you're off strip or downtown. You may be able to find some good drink specials uh, during happy hour, or late night, um, or just 24 7 depending on the place but yeah if you're not playing uh, gambling the casino bars can be just as bad as those mini bars inside your room there are a lot of places in las vegas you can go to get some good drink specials um, and we'll talk about a few of them but i do want to just let you know to you know if you're depending on where you're staying if you're staying up on the north end of the strip you might check out some of the happy hour specials at a place like the fashion show mall um, if you're staying sort of mid strip you might check out a number of different options there um, at the miracle mile shops you know there are some great deals there for example you can get i think it's three for twelve dollar drinks at ocean ones and uh, uh, the um, flights bar there has some good drink specials as well but really uh, check out the happy hours check out some of the options that you have there and you may find that at the very least you're getting your uh, beers or cocktails for four to seven dollars uh, each which is not too bad to be perfectly honest now we can get back to the whole gambling thing in a minute but we will wait on that for uh, yeah, probably a couple more minutes because uh, the other option in Las Vegas is to uh, check out some of the off-strip properties, uh, many of whom have great deals on drinks. My buddy Mark Pennies for Vegas has done some great specials on this, but I'll try to review some of the most common ones. Um, one place definitely to check out, it's right on the strip next to Harris's Casino Royale. Uh, they still have like a number of $3 beers. Uh, that is not bad at all, per, you know, honestly. Um, if you are just off uh, Flamingo, uh, right there by, say, Cromwell or the New Horseshoe or whatever, you can walk like a block down the street and check out the Stage Door Casino. Now, it's my understanding that now it is like, I think the dollar drinks, the dollar beers are Michelobes, but you can still get like a Budweiser, Bud Light for two bucks, which is not bad at all. 
You can also walk down to Ellis Island, which uh, is right there on Koval. It's probably about a mile off, uh, off the strip there behind Bally's, and they have some of their craft beers. They're available for just like $2.50. Another place you definitely want to consider checking out is Oyo. It is the old Hooters Hotel and Casino, and very frequently they will have some really good drink specials. I think they have beers at least for around $2, uh, particularly if you buy like a bucket or something like that. Another good casino option, potentially at least, is the Silver Sevens. Uh, they've had like 77 cent beer specials, at least during some uh, sporting events. Um, it's right on Paradise and Flamingo, just a little bit to the north of what's now the Virgin Hotels. Um, you know, it's not the nicest place in the world, but, you know, if you can drink cheap, then maybe it's worth dropping in. Maybe the cheapest way to drink and still stay on the Las Vegas Strip is simply to buy alcohol at one of the convenience stores. If you've never been to Vegas, you might be shocked at the number of Walgreens and CVS stores there are. I would say between the two of them, there must be 10 to 15 of these uh, running up and down the strips and even downtown. Um, also, there's a little mini Target just to the north of MGM Grand. And uh, the ABC store is also an option, whether it be downtown. I think there is definitely one at Fashion Show Mall and also at Miracle Mile Shops. You'll pay a little bit more here than you do uh, at home, probably. But you can still get a decent deal on a 12-pack of beer or a bottle of vodka or whatever else you might be interested in drinking. Take it back to your room, um, you know, get some ice, and uh, you can load up before you even leave. And, of course, you can always get a glass or something and some ice and take it with you. Um, that's one thing about Vegas. They don't really seem to mind what sort of alcohol you carry into any casino, uh, um, as long as you're not breaking the rules with, uh, you know, glass containers or that sort of thing. So, um, of course the best deal of all of your drinking is to bring it with you to your hotel room. And there's two ways to do that. Obviously, if you're driving into town or if you can, you know, manage to pack it into your luggage, you can simply buy your alcohol before you even get to Las Vegas. Um, or if not, you can, you know, if you rent a car or if you don't mind, uh, you know, you know, using an Uber or Lyft or taxi um, to go to like a regular store store. Um, there's a Target not too far off the strip. There's a Walmart, I think, on Sunset, which is close to the airport. I mean, you go out there, you're going to get pretty much the same price as you would get anywhere else in the city. And uh, hey, you know, maybe it's worth the trip um, if you're the kind of person that likes to have a beer at 8 a.m. in the morning after you wake up. And I mean, who isn't? Um, so, you know, there's some other options, obviously. I mean, just keep your eyes open because there's always drink specials available if you do that. I mean, there was a time that there was a bar at the old Flamingo Hotel there in Las Vegas where you could get beers for a nickel. Well, they don't do that anymore. I think they still do some pretty good happy hour deals. Um, so it's definitely worth it. And as I always say, um, you know, if you can win and drink for free, that's definitely the way you want to go. But if you can't, then some of the suggestions that we have made today can definitely help you have a better drinking experience in Las Vegas. All right, so uh, we're going to be back uh, next week with another Vegas Tips and Tricks Weekly. We'll talk about some other um, aspect of a trip to Las Vegas. Maybe we'll talk about gambling this time. Who knows? Um, We'll be back midweek with uh, our Vegas Tips and Tricks show. I think it'll be number 69. Uh, I'm going to be headed to Vegas in just over five weeks now, so I'm pretty excited about that. So we'll be talking about that. We have another fancy show. Yes, we've been promising a fancy show. It's going to happen uh, coming up right at the end of March, first part of April. We'll talk more about that going forward. Uh, once again, if you enjoyed what we talked about today, please do uh, hit a, hit that like button, a comment. Uh, let us know if you found any great drink specials in and around the uh, Las Vegas Strip and downtown, because I know I would enjoy finding out about it. I think most of the viewers here would as well. We are considering, because we've talked to a couple of friends that thought it'd be a good idea, to uh, 
take the audio out of some of these YouTube videos and post that as a new podcast. We haven't had a new podcast in several months. So let me know what you think of that idea. Most of what we talk about here does not have a lot of visual material outside of just looking at me. So let me know what you think about that. We might do that coming up in the weeks to come. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel, and uh, we'll talk to you again next week. Until then, have a great, lucky, and healthy week. See you all again real soon. Bye-bye.